Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to remove unnecessary or unwanted uh, data from VF04. There may be different reasons uh, why we need to do this. A uh, few of them are like invoices already created for the delivery or sales order. Still those documents appear in VF04. In another business scenario, uh, the customer places an order with the uh, company uh, regularly. Uh, for some reasons, after delivery is created, uh, the company decided not to uh, receive the goods. In that cases, we need to remove that entry from UF04. In some other cases, uh, some reasons business want to entirely uh, reverse the entire cycles. Even invoice also we need to cancel that. After cancelling that invoice, we need to reverse that uh, post goods issue in VL09 transaction code. Then we can delete. Delete if you delete that uh, delivery, then that won't appear in the document flow. The link will be missing for that order. To maintain the link, it's better to go with VL complete. So VL complete is a standard report provided by uh, SAP. So we will complete as a transaction code. By using this wheel complete, uh, we can try to compute the status of the delivery. Therefore, it won't be appeared in VF04. You see here, this is the initial screen of uh, will complete transaction code. Here we need to give the delivery type, delivery, delivery number, delivery type, and created on, and some other parameters that we need. And check this update changed data flag. By default, it will be enabled. And if we execute this, then we can see that uh, uh, delivery or data getting populated here with all the information of delivery number created on uh, shipping point, everything. And here we can see that, so basically this will complete focus on few statuses. Uh, GBSTK, overall status, KOSTK, overall picking status, WBSTK, DRSTA, uh, transportation planning status, uh, LVSTK overall uh, uh, warehouse management status and uh, picking status, confirmation status, POD status, billing status and intercompany billing status. So this wheel complete basically focus on these fields from VBUK, VBUP tables and try to complete them which are still open. Whenever it, it is A or B then it will try to complete them. So whatever is open it will try to make it as C. C means completed. So if the status is completed, then eventually it won't appear in VF04. In the code also we see that standard program written like to check whether the statuses of the fields are A or B. If it is A or B, then they are updating as C. Later that some standard programs or FMs will be triggered to update the database changes into VBUK and VBUP tables. There might be some uh, cases. Uh, see, after selecting this record, we need to uh, click on this uh, green flag. If we sell, if we click on green flag, it will try to complete the status for everything as C. It will update as C for every status here. In some cases, if we want to uh, reverse the changes that we have done, uh, that is also possible through this wheel complete. For that, we need to click this. Uh, uh, this year this symbol after uh, release we have this uh, error mark symbol in uh, blue color if you select that one it will reverse the changes that has been carried out so far